Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thanks for coming back for another video. And this video we're going to talk about a what to sell item and this one is on my top 100 list and it's the L.L. Bean Legendary Duck Boot. So let's go find out what this is, why it's so valuable and a little bit of history about it. So if we go to the L.L. Bean website, this is the original L.L. Bean boot made in Maine since 1912. Now they do make many other styles as well. You can see they make tall boots, they're different colors. Um, these can go up to over $300 new. But the one you're going to see probably the most and that is the most coveted and most popular and most well known is the basic um, duck boot. Now these can sell on eBay for more than the price on the LL Bean site. They can sell in used condition for more than something in new condition and that's for a few different reasons. Um, first of all you can see there they don't make half sizes or they don't have them on the website now. They may have made them in the past <clears throat> excuse me and so there are some floating out around out there that are half sizes. Uh, but a lot of times they're out of stock on the website and if we go um, over to Google and just look at some articles in the past years there's actually been shortages of these around Christmas time and that's why a lot of times people will go to eBay and buy them there and eBay sellers who are wise to this uh, raise their prices because they know there's a shortage on um, of these new on the website or in the catalog. So this is an article back from 2016 and it's talking about how there's a shortage of these boots and the, the reason this can happen is that several steps in the production process are still done by hand and they don't want to change that. L.L. Bean is a very high quality company. They don't want to change this product because they've been selling it for over a hundred years and they want to keep it the way it is, high quality, handmade. So um, this article from almost two years ago, well a year and a half ago, um, because this is February 11th, 2018, they're just talking about how um, they get a backlog of orders and they can't keep up with production sometimes. So um, going back to these articles, uh, there's another one here from 2017 where L.L. Bean's duck boot gets a production boost and they're just talking about how they're um, hiring additional workers, they're uh, changing things in their uh, manufacturing process to do it to create more not necessarily to change the quality but they're going to create more to satisfy this demand so there's a bunch of articles on that and I do remember I think it was 2015 where um, they just absolutely were out of stock around Christmas time and people were making a lot of money selling these on eBay in used condition so that's one reason <clears throat> that over the years this has been a be on the lookout type item is because sometimes the, the production is uh, down in the factory and they can't meet the demand. So let's take a look on eBay and see what these sell for. So I've got completed listings here, used condition, and these top ones um, are what I consider outliers. They're, you know, the rare colors and um, stuff that you're probably not going to find. But if we go down here to um, this one, it sold for $182.50. And I don't know who this seller is, but I'm going to point out again that it is against eBay policy to use stock photos in your listings. Um, this this here is not allowed. You cannot do that unless you are selling media or something with a UPC code and the picture pops up while you're listing the item. Um, 
but when you're selling a used item you cannot go out onto the internet and just find a picture of it and use that in your listing now this person obviously added other um, their own photos too but if see my video above that explains this policy that yes it is people on eBay do it all the time but you don't want to be the one who gets caught and gets your listing taken down and maybe your account suspended because you violated an eBay policy. Um, now this pair is the Sherling or Sherling that has the um, the fur on the inside there so that that style sells for a little bit more anyway. Um, don't tell me my computer's stuck. There we go. Um, so if we go back to the website here, we can see that the lined ones here sell for about um, twenty dollars more. So they're a little bit more expensive, but not not by much. Um, so there's one example, and um, this sold on January sixth of two thousand eighteen. Today is February eleventh, so. Uh, just a little over a month ago they got that price so if we keep looking through here's another pair of the classic L.L. Bean duck boots um, these sold for 149 so if you can find these in thrift stores boots are usually priced a little bit higher at my thrift stores so even five to ten dollars if you can flip them for 150 that is uh, totally <laughs> totally one to look for um, and then we keep looking down here at more. Here's another pair of men's that sold for $149.95. Um, and then here's another pair of, um, doesn't say if it's men's or women's. I guess the M stands for men's. Yeah, that's in men's shoes. $125. And these are pre-owned, excellent condition. So my advice on these is definitely price high at least a hundred dollars with best offer and see what you get um, I'm not a big fan of auctions I don't feel like they work on clothing uh, and shoes just because uh, people don't normally want to wait for the auction to be over they want to buy their item and have it in the mail and um, especially if they're international customers it already takes long enough for it to get there they don't want to wait another five days uh, for clothing and shoes. Now auctions can definitely work for items that are truly limited in number like collectibles, autographed items, event tickets, things like that. But your consumer goods, uh, I just don't find that auctions work very well. You just don't get that, that high price unless it's something that's truly limited in number and you're going to let the market dictate what it's worth. So here's another pair of uh, women's size 8 that went for $125. Um, here's a men's, uh, took a best offer. I'm not going to research what that was. Here is a women's pair that went for $124.99. Another pair of women's that went for $114. I'm seeing quite a few with the... Um, the Sherling lining in there so maybe those are more common than they used to be. Um, here's another pair that went for 109 and let's take a look at that. They've got in their title USA LL Bean Men's 10 medium brown leather 8 inch hunting mud muck duck boots. That's a great title. They've got a lot of keywords in there. Um, sold for $109 um, I would not do free shipping on these because they are heavy and that's going to cut into your profits. So I always do calculated shipping. You can see my video about free shipping versus not free shipping above there if you're still on the fence about that. Um, so you can see here on the completeds, there's quite a few over $100 for these L.L. Bean um, duck boots. Um, now one thing that prompted me to do this video today and this was on my list of, of ones to do but um, Friday uh, LL Bean came out with this announcement that they're scrapping their legendary lifetime return policy so if you weren't aware LL Bean stands by all of their products or they did until they changed it a few days ago and if you ever had an issue with anything you bought 
all you had to do was send it back to them and they would either give you like a uh, gift certificate um, you know like that you could use online or in the catalog or a replacement item and I will say that I know people that abuse this and I'm really glad that L.L. Bean did this um, they have changed it to where the return policy is within one year with a receipt and I think that's totally fair um, I was actually in a thrift store a few years ago and I was behind this lady who was buying a bunch of different L.L. Bean stuff she had found in the store and she was so proud of herself for her um, um, crooked ways <laughs> that you know for how she had figured out how to manipulate this system because she was saying she was telling us and my daughter was there um, she says yeah you know what I do is I go around to thrift stores and I buy L.L. Bean products and then I send them back to the company and they give me either store credit or replacement item and then I can sell the brand new item and I'm like that is really tacky you know I was just I was kind of shocked I was like really you went to all the trouble to figure that out when you've got a whole thrift store full of stuff here that you could just buy and resell legitimately um, so that is really um, taking advantage of this company and their their policy and their you know goodwill towards their customers because the the concept behind the return policy was that they stand by their products they're exquisitely well-made products a lot of them handmade uh, or at least have some parts of it that's handmade so they weren't expecting to have to replace these items because they weren't expecting that they would need to be replaced so they created this policy um, to stand by their products and then you've got people like that woman who completely manipulate the system um, to just take advantage of this type of policy so anyway that's my preaching for the day but um, L.L. Bean has scrapped their legendary lifetime return policy so um, if you have a receipt let's see it says down here um, in a letter to its customers Friday morning the company said it has updated its return policy to give customers one year to return purchases with a receipt the previous lifetime guarantee which enabled customers to return products years or even decades after purchase has long been a selling point for the company so um, L.L. Bean says increasingly a small but growing number of customers has been interpreting our guarantee well beyond its original intent some view it as a lifetime product replacement program expecting refunds for heavily worn products used over many years others seek refunds for products that have been purchased through third parties such as yard sales so um, this is a scheme a scam that's been going on a long time and uh, stuff like this just makes me sick as a reseller because um, we work really hard to do this the right way and please see my playlist about eBay the right way because even though this has nothing to do with eBay um, you know it just really irritates me that people have to manipulate the system when it's it's just easier it's just as easy to do everything the right way and um, so I'm really glad to see this anyway um, LL Bean duck boots look for those they sell really well and oh, one more thing I wanted to mention was um, if you are new to my channel or if you are new to YouTube or even you may not know this um, I get a lot of comments on my videos and emails about I know you made a video on such and such but I can't find it so here's how to do that if you just go to my channel and at the top there's a little search bar right here with the magnifying glass next to it um, you can search for what you're looking for so if you um, let's say you know I did a video on return policy you can just put that in search for that and anything with that keyword in it is going to come up um, on your search so there is a search within YouTube actually on anyone's channel if you want to try to find a specific video that can make it um, much faster but um, if you haven't subscribed please do so because I do try to put out um, I do try to put out 
three to five videos a week and they're all different topics and if you go over here to playlists you can see um, you can see they're all here so you know you can learn about a specific topic you can learn about clothes or shoes or um, like the top 100 items I'm really building that list right now what to sell is another one with over 50 videos in it so you can learn a lot just by staying on a single playlist and um, listening while you're working or um, even I've got uh, my videos as audio on iTunes and Stitcher if you have an Android device. So all this is there for you to learn and make more money. So thanks so much for watching and have a productive and profitable day on eBay. Bye.